We are told Washington and Clackamas counties, however, will not follow suit. But here's what the Multnomah County Chair said today about her decision. We've heard from many members of our community who have expressed support for the clarity, gravity, and the enforcement of a mandate. Today's action brings consistency to expectations and minimizes confusion in the public indoor spaces across our county. Oregon is now the sixth highest risk state in the nation for new COVID infections, and that is according to the chief medical officer for OHSU. Health officials say most cases are among the unvaccinated. So how are businesses and customers feeling about going back to mask requirements? Lindsay Nadrich was out tonight asking them, and what did they tell you, Lindsay? Well, no one is excited to have to put these back on, but several people we spoke with say they're willing to do that if we can get case numbers down and keep businesses from having to close again. Although many have enjoyed the option to go mask free these last few weeks. I know I was excited to, to be unmasked for the what five weeks that we've been unmasked. I, I was pumped about it. Those we talk to say they understand why Multnomah County made the decision to require masks once again starting Friday. The variant is, is rough and and people are getting sick, so it I'm, I'm for it. I have some friends that actually are vaccinated that got extremely sick uh, just recently and they still are sick right now. Health concerns are why Artifact, a consignment shop on Division, never stopped requiring masks. I would say. 95% of people are very understanding and actually a lot of people really appreciated it. Owner Leah Mayer had to close the store for three months during the shutdown. She says she's in favor of the mask mandate and hopes it helps lower case numbers so stores like hers can continue to stay open. To be able to keep doing the things that we enjoy because we definitely all had that taken away and I think I would much rather wear a mask than not be able to go shopping, not be able to go do, you know, certain things that I really enjoy. Both her customers and others along Southeast Division say they're willing to mask up if it gets us back to normal faster. If it's, you know, going to help us, you know, get through this quicker, then I think it's a good thing. I just hope we can uh, bring the case count down and get back to normal life. Well, as for how the mask mandate will be enforced, the county says it will put out more information on Wednesday, along with a phone number and website people can use to report mask violations, which, by the way, could come with a $1,000 fine. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natter, Coin 6 News.